Hi there, welcome back. We now have our unified field. It is grown and ready to harvest. So what we're gonna need to do is harvest it. I'm gonna get to mowing and then we'll win row. And then hopefully this time when we bale, we'll have a significant amount of bales to collect. Um, we'll see. I think I'm still gonna stick Actually, we'll go with the small bales. Yeah, we're going to go small bales. That way, we have a whole bunch of them. See if we can fill that bale trailer all the way up. Oh, here we go. But I'm going to go ahead and get working on this, because this is a lot of work to do with this little mower. And we'll see how much money we make in the end. Hopefully, we can upgrade, upgrade our mowing at the end of this. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. See you soon. Well, that's that. Now that the mowing's done, the next step is going to be get a uh, helper to start wind rowing, and then I'll go along behind with the baler and start baling. We can kind of knock two steps out at once. It didn't take that long. Not as long as I thought it would with this mower. It'll take even less time once we upgrade. Yay, upgrades! Buying new stuff just because we can. We'll hook this to the baler. And then I'll get that other other tractor set up. We've got to make sure that the baler has, uh, that we set it to the right size. So, like I said, I'm going to set it to the smallest size. Just so that, uh, just so that we have a whole bunch of bales to make our bale trailer worth it.
Okay. So I definitely think when we get a new tractor, I'm not going to get rid of both the tractors because it's nice to have a second tractor for things. May, depending on what we get off this field, may keep both of these tractors and just get an additional tractor. We'll see though. All right. So I already took the time to set up courses for this. Do do do. Load course. See what it'll. Because I'm not on the field. What is going on here? I mean, no course. We just set. It, we just. This one. Load course. This one. Oh, hold on. Uh, maybe. Okay. There's the thing. I must just not have clicked all the way, or forgot to click again, or something. All right. Down. Off you go. Have at you. Okay. Now what we can do is I'll go right behind that one with the baler. And, uh, wish me luck. It should be fine. But I'll go ahead and, um, time lapse the making of the bales. And so I will see you soon. Oh, I know what just happened. It's because I set the bales to the smaller amount. That's why it automatically kicked out a bale. Apparently we could have had a smaller bale last time. Oops. All right, here we go. That's the tedding and bailing done. Let me go ahead and get these put away. Oh no, I was too close. Ah, uh, now we're stuck. Okay. Just a little extra repairs. It'll be fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I uh, started picking up the bales initially to get the ones off the ends to try to help the helper not run into them and get stuck and then ended up going back and doing it again to try to let the helper get ahead of us a little bit more oh come on 
Aim for the hole. So I think that the small bales on the full field looks like it's going to be just about perfect. Uh, let's do one thing at a time. Okay. One thing at a time. Because we, we have to go back and fertilize this field too with a grasser. Get that grasser to run along the whole field so that our whole field is fertilized. Okay. You sit there for a second. We're going to go put this one away. How much do these each have? 7,500 each. We'll see what our count is at the end. Turn that off. Put this away. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think this size field is much better for the equipment that we have. I think I think this was the smart idea. And I had thought about it and started on it. And one of you commented on the video suggesting that we should have more more grass field. It's like, yes, I was thinking the exact same thing. Nothing like getting two, uh, just two bales off of all of your grass fields to make it really feel like it wasn't worth spending all that money. <laughs> Alright, park this. We'll go pick up those last few bales. All right, you live there now. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good job. I'm hoping we get a bunch. Get a bunch of money. We've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we could still hold five more bales. Maybe we'll expand the field out that way a little bit more. No, I think five bales is probably fine have 19 bales total. That should be good. It definitely seems more worth it than last time when we used this and we had four bales. Even with medium bales, I think it would have looked better this time than it did last time. But the small bales was a good call. All right. I was getting worried there at the end that we might make more than we could pick up with the trailer. And it's like, oh, what do I do in that case? Do we go and buy the bobcat again to move the last couple bales off the field? All right, so we have these. We're going to park them all right here. It's fine. Right between these trees. There you go. All right. Let's get this field fertilized. I think next time we harvest, I'm going to change the wind rower um, program so that it does uh, a spiral instead of the back and forth. That way we don't have to... It, I think it'll go faster because it won't have to stop at either end um, to turn around. I think it'll just do one continuous loop spiraling in. And then also with the baler, it'll be easier because, again, we won't have to stop and turn around. We can just do a loop. Just loop in. But I'll get this um, run over with this thing and then we'll go to sleep. And it's only just now 8 o'clock in the morning. So that means if we sleep until 9, that should all be silage and we can go sell it and see how much money we make. So I'll go ahead and uh, time lapse the rest of doing this and talk to you when it's time to sell the silage.
All right, 19 small bales of silage. Let's see what we get. We'll start it about there. It'll position it, it'll tip up, and then I gotta hit unload again and it'll push it all out onto the grate. Loop, there she goes. $82,000 worth of silage. We now have $121,490. How much was that tractor I was looking at? Do, 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 uh, where are you? Way back here. Okay. 109,000. That's for 110 horsepower. Standard wheels. I don't know what Starfire is. I don't know what that does. Is that the is that John Deere's GPS? Front loader attachment. We don't need that yet. Hundred and nine thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. We're gonna do the thing. Boop, there goes all our money. Back down to nine thousand two hundred and fifty two dollars. What do we need to save up for the mowers? I think it was like $85,000. Mowers. I want the Pottinger set. The Nova Cats. 70, 80, 88,500. These don't have options, right? No. Okay. These are that's 10 meters wide that we would be able to do. And it would swath. That would be very close and only 9.4 meters. 10.2. Ooh, the Kubotas. It would be slightly cheaper. 50, 60, 76,000. That would save us 10 grand for the, if we got the Kubota set. Oh, but you gotta add. Yeah, you gotta add the swath around there for twenty thousand. So it would end up being seventy-five, ninety-six thousand. Yeah. So we'll go with the Pottinger set when we buy them. Let me uh, get this back to the farm. I'm trying to. See look through the town to see if our where our tractor on I don't see it over there let's just take a quick quick peek I may have had that oh is that thing set right in our yard oh okay well we paid to get it delivered which is good because I got no way back out here to get it but that also means when we get back to the farm our new tractor will be sitting there Exciting. It's like Christmas. We got a new big tractor. This one has a cab. Okay, I'll see you back at the farm. Oh yeah, look at it sitting there. So pretty. And it's all ours. Park this. Guess we'll park the truck in the field shelter there. That way our tractors can all live together. Drop that. I'll go park this and then we'll look at our new tractor. Doop 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 doo doo doo. Don't squish the seed. Okay. Turn off the lights. There we go. All right, let's look at this tractor. Oh yeah, nice. We got the front three-point. 
We got nice cab. Probably has air conditioning in there and everything. And a radio. There's the def tank. Little toolbox on it. It's a nice looking tractor. Oh, you can get in on either side. Yeah, that's nice too. Let's see. What's it look like inside? Oh, yeah. Listen to that. The rain pelting outside. We don't even have to get wet. Guess we'll get it parked. Ooh, we're moving into the 21st century. Or at least the 20th century. Go ahead and get this backed in where it's going to live for now. Ooh, she's so fast and snappy, too. All right. Well, I guess we're going to call that a day. Job well done. I definitely think that uh, making the fields bigger was well worth it. We're starting a hell of a collection. I love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful time. Um, I appreciate you hanging out. Next time, we're going to do one more. Oh, how much did we just make? Do, 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 do. We made 82000 So if we do that one more time, we should be able to buy the mowers that I want because we'll be able to sell the tether and the mower that we have to add into the 80-ish thousand that we make off the fields. And then uh, after that, we'll be banking money. We're getting there step by step. It's progress. But I'm enjoying every step of the way. It's getting better every time. But again, thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.